This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here at the 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this Tuesday, the 21st of March. We're looking at the Dow up 309 points at 32,554. This cluster formation that we saw right here over the last uh, five, six days is really important. We've got this gap up. Fed comes on tomorrow. I'll talk about that in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians Hour. But what's really important is that for the very first time in a while, you've got the MACD about to cross positive in the, in the daily chart of the Dow. That's really good. On balance volume is lagging a lot. Stochastic's improving a little bit. And we haven't yet got the 9, under, uh, which is under the 14 period moving, crossing positive. So this is a work in progress. And it can stall at any moment. But this is really good action. If you look at the S&P, so the Dow is up uh, almost 1%. The uh, S&P is up 1.18% at up 46 at 39.98. Finally getting to retest in leg C, this Chapman Wave inside track repellent zone. Can it finally break that level? It's just a simple technique, but it's telling us a great deal of information because here, yeah, the MACD has turned positive. The stochastics improved a little bit. It's at 48%. The on balance volume is not very good. So we're going to be watching this very closely. And of course, we had discussed this yesterday. It was in the inside track propellant zone for the weekly chart. So that's very important. Now, the QQQ, this is what? Is, is the QQQ ignoring the Fed and saying, hey, Fed, you can do anything you want with your percentages tomorrow, increase quarter point 50. What doesn't matter? Because we think everything's just cool. We're up in leg B, in gray leg B, I call it, in the uh, daily chart. 313.38 was the high back in the beginning of February. It dropped down to the two, uh, about the 290, um, about the 290 level. <clears throat> and now you're at 309.07. This is very nice action. And it goes together with the SMHs, which I'll discuss in a moment. The SMHs, which are improving. Uh, IWM is... Uh, Try and why it is not there. But in the meantime, IWM is running as well. But look at the gold. Gold is not dropping very sharp. It's down 26. Oh, now it is. It was down 16 before 1956 after a peak D. We talk all about these different indices when we get back with the Tiger Technicians Hour. Check out my opening call, 